Hi, this is Samina Sheikh here, and on World Mental Health Day today, I have Ananya Birla, who is going to share some points on that. Apart from that, she is also going to have some casual and candid conversations. So let's quickly welcome Ananya Birla on Zoom. Thank you, Zoom. Thanks, thanks for having me. Happy World Mental Health Day to everyone watching. As we talk about World Mental Health Day. Before that, I want to have a very candid conversation, which is about coming to college. Yeah. What memories do you have, like coming to college and you know just recollecting all these things? When I see the girls away, and I feel like, oh, I wish I was in college. Yeah. So to be completely honest with you, I homeschooled for co my college years, okay. and then I took a gap year before starting my first company, Swatantra. <laughs> so this actually reminds is more like my is like more like school for me. I was in Bombay International. Um, and I, I used to sit like this and so th I mean I've, I've been taken back to my school days um, and that uh, little bit of anxiety you feel before exam prep and um, but yeah no th there were some really uh, fun times um, would I go back probably not I, I love the way my life is right now are you liking the evolved version of you as you're growing and the kind of work you're doing am I liking it yes you think I've evolved you have no over the years you have you're so work. sweet thank you uh, yeah, I think uh, I think I appreciate where I'm at today with with my mental health and just in life in general. Uh, but I also do acknowledge that I have a long way to go, um, and I think that's what being human is, right? I mean, you have to keep. I feel like I was I was just talking to my friends the other day in the car that um, I feel like I made a uh, I felt like I made a big breakthrough in my life with some of my emotions, um, and then I was like, but now I feel like this has come up, and it's like a, you know, like in a game, you unlock a new level and a new level and a new level. Like I feel like. My emotional landscape is sort of a little bit like that, um, but yeah, I think I'm, I'm better with the, the self-talk. It's, it's getting a less negative and more positive, so that's nice. And as we talk about more positive things, it also happens like sometimes we are stuck in so many thoughts and it's just a mind which is doing the game with us. Maybe the problem is not as we see or the mind sees it, but that does you know, appear to be for us. When it, when it comes to something like this or say, you know, when we talk about mental health, have you ever been through that phase? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, today, with you know, with we did uh, a lovely panel with some very lovely people, and uh, I said there as well. And I gave this example to just say that it does get better, and we're stronger than we think. I probably had my first panic attack 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. I had my most recent panic attack, like a full-blown one, probably a month ago. Mm -hmm. The first time I had a panic attack 12 years ago, I landed up in hospital because I thought I was having a heart attack. Oh. Mm -hmm. But the one month ago. I did my, of course it was very uncomfortable, but I did my breathing exercise, I knew I'm not dying mm -hmm. and uh, I was fine in seven minutes, right? Mm -hmm. So from going, from landing up in hospital and spending the night in hospital mm -hmm. to, 15, to, to, to 15 minutes, seven minutes and you know, of un uncomfort, mm -hmm. 15 minutes to get out of the whole thing. So it's been a journey for me, but it always gets better. Mm -hmm. um, of course it's taken a, it's, it's, you know, I think, I think I think when it comes to self, it's never a linear, it can never be a straight line up. So there'll be up dips and you know, it'll be, but the movement is upward. Mm. So every time I'm having a low, I remind myself that, okay, but the trajectory is upward. Mm. So today may be a bad day, but I'm better than I was a month ago, let's say. Mm. Um, so yeah. As we talk about this, there are two things I want to ask you about. And the two terms, one is Mumbai, second is Bollywood. Working in this, in the industry and second is being in Mumbai people keep on saying that Mumbai ki life kafi you know speed mein chalti and you know me being from Bombay too people keep on saying you guys don't have emotions or like you know you guys are just so quick to you know keep on moving on how do you all manage it I have the same question to you and when I talk about Bollywood there are so many things which has happened in Bollywood as well you know some people some actors have committed suicide they have been through that trauma and recently when Riyad Chakraborty spoke about that what are, what, what are your points on these two things? So Mumbai, I call it Bombay. I love Bombay. I mean, this is where I'm, I'm born and brought up, raised. Uh, Bombay is my city. I, in fact, I have a song coming out which I call Bombay. Plug in, yes. Uh, but I love the city. Um, every city has its uh, pros and cons, like, like anything else. Do I wish we had a bit more fresh air in the city? Yes, of course. Uh, but I personally love Bombay. The second part of the question, I personally don't think my, so I'm of course I, I sing right, um, and currently you know I was in I was with Universal Music Group and um, I recently just got signed to another company in LA um, and I have a very lovely fan base. It's a very they're very loyal. They get tattoos and things, but it's it's a, it's quite um, 
it's very home right um, and then I run the businesses that I do and then I'm launching a couple of um, different brands so I don't think I personally fit into Bollywood so I don't think I am the right person to talk about that mm -hmm. but of course Bollywood or not regardless if someone dies by suicide it's extremely upsetting and sad mm -hmm. um, and it's 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 real it's very real this person um, was suffering and imagine to reach it got that dark that the person reached that point where they saw no absolutely no hope and had to end everything right they had to end their life so it's really important that we're kind uh, you know the takeaway for me from everything is that of course it's very sad but now what can we do uh, to make it better for everyone to make it better for ourselves i think it's really important to to sort of keep in mind that we don't know everyone's stories mm. we're all probably struggling have a silent struggle that we don't talk about right to everybody maybe mm. just to a few people so whenever we interact on a day to day piece, basis with people it's very important to be kind to everyone mm. it's very important to you know give benefit of the doubt sometimes if someone was rude maybe they were having a bad day um so i think it's really important to just know that everyone is probably suffering from something or going through something and it's, it's nice to just be kind with to everyone lastly two questions to you the very first is do you also feel music helps in healing and a lot of uh, you know such brands are taking you know yeah. the help of music do you also feel good that you know music plays such a pivotal role in curing mental health you know issues or anything like that i mean music has um, if i don't you know singing really and writing music really really helps me um in in ways that i can't explain i think it's it's healed me and it's very cathartic for me personally um so today we uh, did a exclusive drop of brave together which is a song that i have done together and it's very special to us and um it's out uh, on the on friday this coming friday mm -hmm. um it's all about um, we didn't want to write a dukhi song you know we wanted it to be up tempo the dukhi songs are amazing as well and there's nothing wrong with that but we wanted this one to be up tempo but with a positive message so it's all about hope it's all about uh, if you reach out for help uh, i'll be right there you know you'll you'll have people standing up for you and we're braver together we're brave together when we when we stand together we're brave um so um, very proud of the work that uh, we're doing with uh, with brave talks as well and uh, yeah music i think it's scientifically proven as well that music helps with mental health and mental illness so it's it's good that's nice to you and what are your upcoming projects you're working on the kind of music you wish to you know bring forward and the genres of music you would like to so my career started with english music um so english music is obviously still going on but then i sort of sang started singing in hindi as well which i do and a little bit of punjabi uh but english music i think is my jam because i think in english and i write in english and the writing process is very personally very important to me um so first and foremost um brave together the song is dropping in 3 days on friday so it would be lovely if you could stream that and um if you ever are feeling down or um I don't know if you're just having a shit day I hope you can listen to the song and feel a little bit better. And lastly we had also heard and I think when I had a conversation with you that time you told me that you might be seen in acting as well so tell me about that if you could. So I completed that project uh, we shot in London I completed that project uh, directed by Kunal Kohli uh, a little more than a year ago. Um I think uh, it's for OTT. Um so I think um, they are you know probably pitching it currently to i don't know where they are in the process but yeah i'll release when it's when the time is right and uh, it's something that it's a, it's it's a, i really enjoyed that process and i learned a lot from my character jane mm -hmm. um so we'll see, we'll when when it releases we'll see hopefully you guys enjoy that thank you so much for your lovely time and all the very best and i'm looking forward to see more of you absolutely thank you, thank you. thanks for being on always being so kind